up. There was always some brother animosity that take place. Because God always has set up them people there to do them things there. You know. He always has set them up against one another. You know, see, because God set up Cain against Abel. God set up Isaac, fat mother against, against Isaac, against Ishmael, mother. And now God now, as she say, a trick we are going on. And him do him just load the trick for go on. How them get black people to talk against other black people who are say them get caught in a the European mindset. How them get the other person who are listen to the person who are try bring them back to them Africanness. How them get the other person who are listen to this to fight against the other person who are talk about it. Blessed love, my viewers and subscribers. Walk one, open all doing good, open all doing great. Now, my people, they are again on the Soul Chat TV with another Mutabaruka content. And this one is some powerful Bible lesson. So powerful. We, as black people, these will open our consciousness and open our eyes to this nonsense that is taking place. In the religious side of things. So my people. Stay tuned. Because Muta Baroka unfold a whole lot in this Bible session. And we as African people need to know this. Need to tune in. Need to listen these things. So we can think for our own self. And not have somebody else's thinking for us. So my people, let's not spoil it too much. Let's go in together and watch this and listen to the reasoning of the great man, Muta Baruka. Then share your opinion down in the comment section. And my people, before we go into it, you know it's a black power movement. So definitely drop a like and subscribe and share to a friend or a family so they can also be a part of the movement. Now my people, let's take a walk. It's a serious thing. That's like you're a kid, son, and a man say, boy, right now, I'm going to block you in from St. Thomas. I'm going to block you in from St. Andrew. And I'm going to block you in from St. Catherine. And I'm going to block all the seaport them that you can't leave. And that are going for years. Years that are going. So, it's not an easy thing. And people always look upon it like, say, the Israelis is the Israelites of the Bible. So you have a lot of preachers who preach in the name of Israel and refer to God's chosen people. A serious God that God make a woolly of people upon the earth and then him choose a set of people as him chosen people. <laughs> You know, it's the weirdest thing because when you read uh, 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 Numbers 6, I'm sorry, Genesis, uh, Genesis 6, something about this all. It says, the sons of God, capital G-O-D, the sons of God saw that the daughters of men were fear and took unto themselves wives. And in that day, a giant came upon the land. Now, God, which is the capital G-O-D, the sons of God, sons of God, that means that God did have woolly of sons in a them time there. Look down upon the earth and look upon the woman them and say, the daughters of men look good, man. Yes. So, make we imagine some mythological people and look down through the clouds because that is where them all is a show we all the while and matter talk about God and the angels. You see the angels, them are looked down through the cloud. So make we imagine, in a way, illusion and deluded, demented mind <laughs> that these sons of gods looking through the cloud and looking down upon the daughters of men. The daughters of men now, I don't know is who make them, but God's sons up there look down and see that the daughters of men were looking very fine. So them come through the cloud and take up the people, them woman, the, the, the men, them women, and became husbands. 
And then the story, you have a next story now which complicate the whole Palestinian and Israeli concept where them use that part of the Bible to show that the land now that is occupied by the Israelis because the Bible never tell about no Israelis you know, tell about the Israelites but they have adopted what they call Judaism as their own the Israelis they have adopted Judaism as their own and because they have adopted Judaism as their own they put themselves in history this is weird they put themselves in a history 4,000 years ago. 4,000. So you hear the trap you 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 now. You hear the trap because when they bring this history to you, you know, and you talk about past now in a church where we preach this issue for sure, you say, well, right now, a God word, a fulfill where the Israelites must reclaim them land because they are the chosen ones. So you are going to show you now. They are going to show you a place in the Bible where they say, Isaac, the son of Abraham. Maybe you know the story, but I could say it again because this is a key element of what is going on in the so-called Middle East and Africa. Africa is going on, you know, they will call it Middle East, but Africa is going on. The land where they call Israel is in Africa. And Israel really is the name of a person, not the place of a name of a land. But me could say, as to them I call it. But Israel is in Africa. It's not East Africa. It's not the Middle East. So, there was a man named Abraham. And he had a wife named Sarah, my half sister. He married to him sister. And him, him wife couldn't have no picnic. And true wife couldn't have no picnic now. Him wife being a very liberal woman. Tell her husband, say, go, go sleep with the, the maid. The maid was an Egyptian woman. So the maid, in the house, I wash the dish there, man, I cook the food and thing and Maybe a long time Abraham looked upon her too, but him afraid because him wife, without him don't know him wife, I think. But the wife, him go realize about weird. The wife, I think, nice because she can't have no picnic. So she decides, say, well, all right, now, here we know Abraham. Do it, but no make me see it. <laughs> Just do it, do, because you see that they continue. And you know what? History write you down as a person will never have no generations out of your body and i can't give you the picnic them so you want to know in order to perpetuate your seed that you have a continuous lineage sleep with egyptian woman and bring a picnic so he must sleep with the egyptian woman and the egyptian woman get pregnant but meanwhile egyptian woman get pregnant no him go try a last lick with him wife and at 90, at the old, she get pregnant. <laughs> and that create complication in the house now. Because the same woman who tell... And this is written in the Bible, you know. This is where I talk what is written in the Bible. But why I am talking this story is to connect it now with what is going on now. Because this is something that has been brought up in the United Nations by these people. All right. There's a connection here that they are now saying why the land is theirs okay so the story continue now where after the sarah which is the name of the wife and the the maid named hagar which is an egyptian woman the two of them get pregnant so the wife has said well, if me get pregnant, me can't allow the Egyptian maid woman to go inherit all our Abraham have. No, 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 no. And my son have inherited. So right away now she have played the, 
the bitchy, the bitchy wife now. A bitchy wife here because she allowed the man to go have sex with the woman, you know. But because now she go get pregnant now, she now I go look upon the wife. The, 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 but because now she go get pregnant now, she now I go look upon the wife. The, 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 the Egyptian woman picked me and I said, no, 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 outcast, bastard picnic, can't inherit certain things. So she run out the woman out of the house. Now, according to the story, this woman named Hagar took her son named Ishmael, Ishmael, and Ishmael, the son of the maidservant of Abraham, and his mother was in the wilderness. And out of that lineage come 12 tribes of Ishmael. Now, flashback now to the, the, the son that is now of the so-called legitimate wife, lawful wife, which is Isaac. Isaac supposed to inherit where Abraham have because he's the wife. Legitimate Pickney. The other one is a bastard Pickney according to how certain things go. You know, Michael Manley come and reverse that in a Jamaica. When he come say, no, the, pers the Pickney outside of the marriage must have the same authority as the Pickney inside of the marriage. Or else the whole are we get naked you now. <laughs> because most Jamaican Pickney Born outside, what them call it, out of wedlock. Yes, out of any wedding go on, we lock you in. So, the wife of this picnic named Isaac, legitimate picnic according to all the story go. And Isaac have two sons, one named Esau and one named Jacob. And according to the story, remember, I say we are linked the story to where I go on in other place, you know, you know. This is not no nowadays thing we are work with, you know. We are, we are dealing with all the people, them deviously, connect it. We are going right now on the occupation of this land. All them connect it for sure them, that them legitimately supposed to have the land. Okay, so. Isaac, growing old, him start kind of get, him eyes kind of get dimish like, him can't hardly see. Jacob, the younger son, Esau, the older son. Now according to the tradition, what the Bible tells you about, is the elder son must get the blessing the blessing me now say, I'm going to call him son and tell him, say, boy, right now, you see all the land over there, so it's your own, do what you want, do with it. You see the goat, the man, the cow, them tie up over there, so and your own, do what you want, do it. If you want to share it to the brother, you're free to do it. If you don't want to share it to them, you're free enough to do it. So, and you run the thing. So, is Esau supposed to get all of this thing? Because Esau are the older one. But the Muma did prefer the younger son, which was Jacob, the younger son. So, when time come now, the blessing come now, Esau, Isaac, I go call up him elder son now, Esau, forget the blessing. But what I'm now is that Esau was a youth where a woolly heap of hair upon him skin. You can go back and read it in the Bible if you want, you know. We are tell it how it go. I saw it go. Maybe we now use the same do and d and d. But I saw the, I saw the word go. I saw the, 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 the story go. Esau have a ear skin. Jacob was a smooth skin kind of guy. 
But the mother did prefer Jacob. But even though Esau did blind, sorry, even though Isaac did blind now, Isaac knew him older son by touching him son. So if him feel the son and him feel the son eerie, him say, oh, that one there are Esau. If him feel the other son and the other son smooth skin, him say, oh, that one there are Jacob. Now the mother knowing this, I go trick the father. Because I trick thing I go on here, so now, you know. And God I look down through the cloud, you know, and I sanction this thing, you know. The biggest trick. God has sanctioned the trick now. Here we got to go do, here, 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 here the woman I go do now. The woman I go kill all the man now. And wrap around the sun. The smooth stone skin. The name Jacob. I don't know where she use. Much she use. I don't know where she use. Patex. Panada, pana, 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 or whatsoever she use. And stick out the skin. Pan the youth now. When the time comes for the blessing now. She carry... Jacob, who should wrap up with his skin. And the son, the, the, the father who are going blind now, him feel the son and him say, okay, he saw this. Which really a Jacob, he might touch, you know. But him feel say, he saw. So, he might touch his skin and he might bless Isa. He might bless Jacob with his blessing. So, there is a animosity that going to take place now, you know. Between Esau and Jacob. Now, if you look on the stories in the Bible, you know, from Cain and Abel to Isaac and Ishmael to Esau and Jacob, there was always some brother animosity at take place. Because God always has set up them people there to do them things there. You know. He always has set them up against one another. You know, see, because God set up Cain against Abel. God set up Isaac, mother against, against Isaac, against Ishmael, mother. And now God now, as she say, a trick we are going And him do, him just load the trick for going So Jacob now, get the blessing. And the story go on and on and on and on, where some Amman Amas go on. And Esau now start to link with the, 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 the the, the, the tribes of Ishmael and start friend the tribes of Ishmael. Now, according to these people, these tribes, these tribes were called Ishmaelites. It's the Arabs. This is what they must say to you now. You know. They must say, the, the Egyptian woman, pick me, is the Arabs. Esau mix up with them. And is the Arabs. Jacob start to know one day my travel and a good man come to him and say, Look, you know, watch out, you have to give me what you have, you know. And he said, Well, I mean, I give you nothing. Come take it now. And the man goes up, boom, and start to fight him. And Jacob goes up, blow him and wax him two times and blow him drop a gun. And Jacob overpower him and I kill Jacob, go kill him now, you know. And him said, no, no, don't kill me, man. I, I, you know, say, I, 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 I God sent me, you know. <laughs> I God sent me for test, you know. As a matter of fact, I mean him, God. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's a God manifestation that go out there. So and Jacob said, hey. And the man says, where, where you name? And, 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 and Jacob said, I mean him, Jacob, you know. So the man I go look at Jacob now and say, Well, you want to, you see, as from today, you he may go call you Israel. Because you have struggled with the angel of the Lord and has overcome. So you have no longer named Jacob, but you name Israel. Israel. Okay. So now, Israel is the man where we are dealing with now. So remember now, say, you have a set of people. Who them brandish name Ishmael, who supposed to be the Arabs. And then now you have a next set of people now who mix with the Arab mix with the Ishmaelites named Esau. I e, well, don't know what them call them, Esauites or whatsoever they mix up. And then now you have this man you now named Jacob, who now them call Israel. And out of Israel now, 
is will have some woman and no pick me. He have 12 sons and one daughter. And out of those 12 sons now, Jacob now, which is now called Israel, which is not a land them that talk about now, you know. He's a man. Jacob now, I got realize that he also now get blind and he get sick and thing. He's so dead, he has high blood pressure and thing. Jacob now, I got say, Israel, I got call him son them now and say, gather and I shall tell you what shall befall you in the latter days. This story is written now in Genesis 49 where Israel is now going to bless his 12 sons and left out daughter. The daughter is of no significance to the thing, just like the Church of England today will tell us why right now. Them not allow women to preach. Them not allow women to preach. I mean, them can allow women sexual, but them can't allow women. So it's a weird thing. We live in a crazy, crazy mix-up world. Sure. So the church in England now vote against women preaching in the church. But them don't. She said, but wait. Oh, the homosexual thing so legitimate. And the woman can't be legitimate. Because you can have a homosexual priest preaching at the church, you know. And him do have to go in and close it. Him can, him can, be, him can tell them say he's a homosexual and still be able to preach in the church. But a woman cannot preach in the church. What kind of madness is that? Madness. And is the, is the woman bring the man who become a homosexual who can preach in the church? He have, a, he have a different link with God. And she now have no link with God. Because she's a woman. So Israel now, bless him 12 sons them. And out of the 12 sons come the 12 tribes of Israel. Out of Ishmael come 12 tribes. But the 12 tribes of Ishmael is not recorded in the book that we now call the Jewish Bible, which is the so the Christians call it the Old Testament. But it's really the Hebrew Bible. In the Hebrew Bible, is Hebrews are right the story. So them negate for tell you the other side, which is the sons of the Egyptian woman. So you never hear nothing about the Ishmaelites because them is outcasts. Them get traced out. No. This man when named Israel have 12 sons. And what happened now is that because them grandfather did occupy a land that was not theirs, that is, but was given to them by this, and next again the God, God that looked down in that thing and said, it's a land, go kill everybody upon it and take it away. God that him tell Abraham, and that him tell Abraham seed, say, that land flowing with milk and honey shall be your land. No, it's really the land of the Canaanites, you know, but it's because the Canaanites, me not like them, just kill them off, rape them woman, take where you want, and just occupy them land. The, the reason why I'm do that too, flash back again to a story with, with our next man named Noah. We have three sons, and Noah have three sons, Am Shem and Japheth. Apparently, one of the sons looked like him did gay. <laughs> because, because him seen father dear kid. And I called it to the Bible, I covered him father dear kid. That's, I don't know. That sounds kind of weird to me. If God ever smite a whole nation because you don't see your father dear kid. And, and why them God man, they always junk. Because it's junk. The man junk. I lay down naked. And him young son come in there, come see him. Do whatsoever I want to do with him. And then the other brother them come in there and say, catch them. I say, wait, this is what you do with daddy. And right away, you know, God no curse. This son, where go play with him father, you know, him curse the son of the son, which is the grandson of Noah, which is called Canaan, because Canaan is the son of Ham. And him say, curse it shall be Canaan in the tents of Shem, him shall live. And be a slave. That is how black people now become cursed. According to the Hebrew Bible. Them do have it in the King James Bible. But if you look in at the, the Talmud. You will see these things. Just like if you look at the Mormon Bible. 
You see them a talk about black skin is cursed. So, go back to the story now where Israel become now the 12 tribes of Israel. And the land that Israel is going to occupy now is the land that God give them. This is like, this is like Christopher Columbus coming to Jamaica and totally ignore the, occup the occupants of Jamaica. Totally ignore the Tainos them. Them come like say nobody never there. And them come stick a flag in at the king and queen of Spain name and say this is the land given to them by God. Because these people are say God do this and God do that, you know. It's like no with the Christian name. Everything happens is God do it, God do it, God do it. You know, you meet in an accident. Oh God, you know, thank you, Lord, Jesus, all these things. So when Christopher Columbus come here. He totally ignore the original occupants of the land and then start to kill them off. Well, the same thing now with these people who say it's God give them this land, where well, it's Canaanites land. It's not that people wasn't there, you know, the Canaanites was living there. But because the Canaanites was not of the same cultural expression or religious practice and belief like them, them kill off the Canaanites and the Canaanites have to leave them land. And take refuge in our other lands. And now this land where it's called the Canaanite land. Where God said, I shall give it to you and your generation. Occupy it. No. We have a flashback to today. This land that is in dispute in the 21st century is the same land. That the Jews write in them Bible, write in them Pentateuch. I hope I call the word right. Them write in them Bible, say, is God give them the land? And you can't question that. So you see, uno who in the land, or uno are the occupiers, which really and truly is the same thing Columbo, Columbus do when he come here, so. And him wipe out the Tainos them. And say, look here. From we reach us all. That means that God did, de did design it that way. De. God decide with destiny. And our destiny leads us to Jamaica. And uno de so. Uno is Edens. Uno is this, uno is that. Uno no, uno walk, run up and down naked. Uno no, have no, uno no believe in a Jesus. Uno never hear about Jesus yet. We go kill uno half. And take the land in the name of the king and queen of, in, of, of Spain. And God, is God send them here so. Read back all of the things them with them write when them come here so. Where, 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 where Bartal, where them call it Bartolomeu and all these guys will come into Jamaica and the Caribbean islands them. All of them declare that it's God, is the destiny of God that brought them here. And if it was a wrong thing, God wouldn't did send them here. So from God send them, from them come here so, is God put them here so. Well, it's the same thing, same reasoning. The, the so-called occupiers of the land that is now called Palestine. That was once called the land of Canaan. That even the Palestinians who call themselves for them land. It's still not for them land. It's the Canaanites land. But now we cannot really identify the Canaanites because the Canaanites also did have to move south down even into southern Africa. Remnants of the Canaanites exist. If you go into Zimbabwe you will see remnants of these people who share the same identity and cultural expression like the people them who did own this land where them call Canaan. The land of the Canaanites is the land now called Israel or Palestine. Now these people take up this book and place themselves in that historical reference point and declare that this land is ours, even though, 
even though these people who occupy the land that is now called Israel, or call themselves Israelis, came from Russia and Germany. And this land was given to them by the British in the 40s because they were running from persecution, just like the people them, the white people them who left the Isles of British Isles and run come into America because they were running from religious persecutions. And when them enter into America, call themselves the pilgrims and saw the original indigenous people in America. Them wipe out the people, them kill them and put them on some desert land and say it's God put them there and it's God send them there so and them take the land by gambling can you imagine a group of people coming to a strange land running from freedom land because them have some religious war going between Anglicans, Roman Catholics Protestants and all these things, and them find refuge in our next man land. And even though them see people there, them ignore the people them like the people them not exist. And decides the boy right now, here we now. We want some land. So here we go get the land now. Just like with them doing a St. Martin. It's a serious thing. It's a race. Them run and divide up St. Martin, you know. It's a race, them run. And stick this apart and me own this so me own this so me own this so me own this so this so this so this so them run race and the man who can run and if him see some land over there so we look like it can have holy part him by now him run towards a piece there. if him reach over the force him stick him thing in there and say yes I my own this if I let a man run and see where a river over there so him say boy I want to go near the river you know him go so boof and run go over there so bluff him stick him tag that blue and my river this ignoring the original inhabitants of the land. So, these people who call themselves Israelis, who's mainly coming from Russia, because when you land in 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 in, in, in Israel, if you declare yourself Judah, from if you declare Judaism you automatically become a citizen. All you have to say, well, right now, you give credence to Judaism, Moses' laws, this, that, that, you, you know, the Torah, this, that, all these things. You automatically become a citizen. So these people, run, come, left, where them coming from, run, come in at the people, them, them come there, them see people there, and them just control the land. And every year, every little decade, they, they move the people, them, more and more out of them space. Then if you are move the people them out of them space, what do you expect the people them to do? Them going to get vicious because this is them life. This is them family. And for years and the history shows say you wasn't there. It's you come occupy the thing and talk about say you get it through some declaration rights and through some biblical verses and all these things, you have a right to it because it's crazy world we're living in. Crazy, crazy world we're living in. It's so the story go. This is not me, I make it up. This is the cutting edge. Connecting biblical story with modern days happenings. Talking about the Israeli and the Arab man and talking about biblically Ishmaelites, Isaac, Esau, Jacob, and how the thing transfer itself and create a problem in the 21st century, 4,000 years after. Some guys just write down something 4,000 years ago, and now 4,000 years after, it become problematic. Very yes. Very, very. And the occupation of land is a continuous thing all over the world by most of the time is people or governments in the western world that 
use them power to occupy people's space and manipulate them culture and them expression. Because most of the things them where we know as African people get devoured in this in the power, the base. You know them say, Lord Acton in England say power corrupt absolute power corrupt absolutely. And what we say right now, even in at this time here, people have power, use them power absolutely and create devastation among so-called poorer people. In this case, it's so-called third world people. So all the things that we know as our indigenous culture, you know, with even we myself, look at all the things like Wobia, voodoo, we, them have we and make songs against our indigenous culture. Black people, if you listen to a whole heap of them reggae songs, these reggae songs will grow up in a society where demonize our cultural expression. So voodoo and obia is, is, is anti-culture, anti-European culture. So, them have we are seen against it and are demonize it. Them have we attack against Wobia. Where them have we attack against voodoo and all the different practices. They make the drum illegal one time. They make cane rowing of ear illegal one time. Wobia still illegal. Bad word, still illegal. Ganja, still illegal. All of the things that will come from the masses of the people, them. In a them indigenous way of life. Them have we a fight against it. How the hell them, how, how, how them, how them get to do that? I mean, them not put no microchip in a way. Them use psychological warfare. How them get to it a fight against their own things? I mean, listen to the song them. Listen to the song them. You have people who are talking about dirty, nasty things. And them same one now will come fight against Obia and Voodoo. You have so-called righteous people, Rasta. Who when them are saying them lick against African indigenous culture and they even know say them are lick against African indigenous cultures. How them get if you do that? How them get with a fight against myself up to this day? That will look for ourselves scornful, like all black. How them get with a call myself black? And then now internalize it and act against the color. How them get with a do that? How them get black people for call themselves black people? And then look on black as something terrible and sinful. Therefore, them who call themselves black people must know say them is terrible and dreadful. How them get if you do that? That all if you start to tell somebody says that to happen, them say, away you attack what mood, a foolishness you attack. How them get black people fit talk against other black people who are say them get caught in a, the European mindset. How them get the other person who are listen to the person who are try bring them back to them Africanness? How them get the other person who are listen to this to fight against the other person who are talk about it? Oh. Serious, serious thing. My people, we have made it to the end. It was a journey. It was a really powerful journey. Learn so much pertaining to the religions, the Bible, etc. Now, my people, let me know what you think about what Mutabarak have said down in the comment section. And you know, it's a black power movement, so definitely drop a like and share to a friend and also subscribe if you haven't done it already. And I'll catch you guys in the next one, Irie.